My name is Aliona, and I travel the world by motorcycle with my Honda Hornet, aka the Bee. This time we're heading to Siberia to explore the regions of Altai and Hakasia. We'll have breathtaking views, awesome roads, and a good amount of challenge to make it even more exciting and memorable. Let's ride! Oh wow! Where are they? The guys that I met a few days ago in Abaza. Six bikers from Krasnoyarsk. Are somewhere here. And let's go search for them. Oh, Dima. Привет! The campsite. Photo session going on. Some more tents, more motorcycles. And I'm just walking around and wow. <laughs> Just look at this awesomeness. This is so cool. Look at the amount of motorcycles and tents and this beautiful Salt Lake. It's uh, yeah, the first time I'm at a motorcycle festival and I'm just amazed to see so many motorcycles in one place. Super cool. Прекрасно время провели. Пора по домам. <laughs> hello, hello! Everybody is leaving motorcycle festival, and B and I are finally ready to go as well. Packing today took a whole lot of time, maybe because it's super hot. It's like 30 something degrees, and I had to go for a swim a couple of times just to. All right. We're ready to go <laughs> and today we go to explore a couple of cool places around the lakes and end up at a different lake. Let's go, let's ride! <sighs> Goodbye beautiful lake, let's go! It's been a super fun experience with the festival. First time I survived. And this is Sasha and his son. Yo! Все, хорошо вам добраться. Пока, пока. I envy a little bit all these people who are swimming right now. I could so much up into this beautiful and very refreshing water. Let's follow Denise for a little bit. Town of Shira. Same name as one of the lakes around here. Time to get some gasoline and maybe a coffee before we start the explorations. Maybe I should get a Dakar sticker for the bee. We've actually been to Dakar. <sighs> Looks like Denise doesn't want to go home. <laughs> and, and he decided to join me for the first sightseeing spot of the day. Which is an old copper mine. And now it's just a big, big, big hole in the ground. Let's go check it out. It's just 25 minutes right away. 25 kilometers, so pretty close. All the things that I want to see today are really close to one another. So the limit is only gonna be my time and energy because I'm a little bit tired, you know? <laughs> I need some rest. Maybe in the next life. Oh, mountains. Sweet curvy road. The place is called Tuim. And we're going to Tuimski Flop, the very old copper mine. 
it looks like in Hakasia to get to any of the even like most touristy places the last part is a pretty heavy off-road <laughs> <laughs> with sand and big bumps and broken asphalt so this is the final part of the road <laughs> exciting adventure here we come oh my favorite washboard My favorite in this case being sarcasm, of course. Not a big fan. But very, very pretty road otherwise. And here we are. Tuimsky Praval. That's the name in Russian. I've heard you can do bungee jumping. Imagine the size of the hole. Let's see how deep it is. So we're ready to see the the big hole. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my. Let's check out the echo. Woo! <laughs> cool. <laughs> Look at the green color, signs of copper. Also there. This actually feels slightly more scary than I expected. Having bridges are always fun. Denis, ты на мотике здесь проехал? Да. А тут. Ничего такого. Страшного даже так. He says he would do it on a motorcycle. I'm not sure I would. Although with the rails. But I'm pretty sure if I fall on this on my motorcycle, these rails are not gonna hold the weight of the two of us. <laughs> So that's the Henning Bridge, which we just took. And all the way down to the water. And I think these are the old mines. Denise says there were many of them before. But now because of the landslides and more water coming up, you can't see that many. So this wall is 120 meters. And down there, it's at least, what, two, three times more? Whoa, it's over 300 meters deep. And I'm saying over 300 meters because the divers could only go that deep. So it's much, much deeper, but that's the maximum depth they could reach. Pretty insane. And look at this. That's the bungee. Ah, uh, uh, not my thing. I definitely would not do a bungee jump here. Would be really, really cool with a zip line, though. That was quite interesting. And now we're going back to Shira, the village we just came from. And from there, I'll decide what to do. It's not that much time left. And I should still be thinking of finding a new camping spot maybe get into a new lake there is one lake which is like dead sea it's super super salty so I might just go directly there there is another cool place that I wanted to visit but it requires quite a bit of hiking and I'm not sure I want to do it after my hike in Yaragaki two days ago I'm still a little bit sore. <laughs> so yeah, first to Shira and then we'll see what to do. Back in Shira. And I 
now what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> now I'm gonna say goodbye to Denis because he's going back to Krasnoyarsk and then I figure out what I do. <laughs> I feel a little bit hungry so I think I'll start by finding some food. Burrito style. So I have eaten and I decided to go directly to the Dead Sea Lake, <laughs> Lake Tus. So it's 40 kilometers until the Lake Tus and it's half past six now so I think I'll just get there, set up my tent and go enjoy the, the lake. And if I have rested well enough then I'll do the other points of interest tomorrow. At least one of them. Or two. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Sunduki is one of the points of interest that I would like to visit. I'm looking at the sky and I can't figure out if it's one big thunderstorm or if it's clear sky. <laughs> According to the forecast there were not supposed to be rain or thunderstorms in the next at least five days, so... Should I believe the forecast and pitch a tent or should I look for a cabin instead? <laughs> okay, I'm pretty damn sure it's a thunderstorm. I even think I saw a lightning. That looks quite scary actually. Nice, looks like our road has turned to the right. And now the thunderstorm is behind me. Let's hope it stays there. <laughs> I don't want this thunderstorm. No, thank you. So looks like this is our turn to the lake. Lake Tus. Amazing road. So five kilometers on this wonderful dirt road. <laughs> The cow got scared. Oh wow, exciting road. And I think if it rains, this becomes absolutely horrible. Because from what I can see, this really reminds me of red clay. which is the most slippery kind of mud. I hope you're gonna be able to see how steep this is. And I guess that's the lake. But it is super, super steep. <laughs> and very broken as well. Oh wow, yeah, you can see on the left the result of the rain, now it's dry, but oh wow, I definitely, definitely don't want to do it after rain. So here we are, straight to the beach, oh, oh, amazing road. Not so many people. So should we just stay right right here? <laughs> or maybe I should look for a shelter place. I got a perfect sheltered spot for my tent. Bees undercover and I'm going for a swim. Very well deserved swim. And it even looks like 
the thunderstorm might pass by. And look at the sunset. My only problem really is the amount of mosquitoes here. It's like crazy. There are thousands of them. Ah, they're trying to eat me alive. <laughs> After the festival yesterday, this is priceless. Look, it's just me in my super shelter and just a couple more tents. Cheers!